Hey, um, good evening, everyone. Um, hope everyone is well. It's uh, day 53, Church in the Time of Quarantine. Uh, sorry I didn't broadcast yesterday, but uh, it was my birthday, and I'll not broadcast if I want to. Uh, but uh, anyway, thanks for all the birthday greetings and uh, everything from all of you. And uh, it, was, it was a good it was a good day. So uh, it's May 8th uh, on this day in uh, 1945. Uh, it was VE Day. The Germans surrendered. Uh, and then on this day in 1962, if you ever get the trivia question, when was the first time we bounced a laser off the moon? Well, it was on this day in 1962. So there's your, uh, your laser bouncing moon fact for the day. Well, as you can see, I am uh, I'm still in my house, so I have not been sent off anywhere as of this moment to do the, uh, the COVID-19 testing. I'm uh, finishing up training tomorrow and may be going somewhere, or may not be going somewhere, or may think about going somewhere. So anyway, I'll, I'll keep you informed of, um, of where things stand on that. Uh, it's very changeable. Combine, uh, well, Let's just say it's changeable. So I will let you know what's going on. But um, anyway, I'm, I now know how to stick things up people's noses if you were ever worried. Okay, well, trivia. Uh, it seems that missing prime ministers is the, uh, the sweet spot uh, of trivia. We had four, count them, four correct answers. Um, so Dottie uh, Gutenkunst, uh, Barb Bay, Lee Nelson, and Bramwell Richards all correctly identified the country that lost a prime minister, and that country was Australia, which, man, you know, for all our troubles, we've never actually lost a president, um, had them shot, and we still knew where they were. Okay, well, today's trivia, since it is VE Day, um, as you know, uh, on uh, April 30th of 1945, Hitler committed suicide. So he wasn't around to surrender. Uh, so who was uh, who was Führer or president or the uh, the El Jefe um, at the time the Germans surrendered? So uh, if you got that name, uh, who was the uh, person that surrendered? Uh, send that on in, and uh, you'll win the special VE Day uh, trivia. All right. Well, just want to remember our saint today. Uh, it's uh, it's Julian of Norwich. Um, you may have heard of her. Uh, unlike the Pennsylvania Dutch, she actually is from Norwich. Uh, but uh, so, if you want to know a little bit about her, let me uh, let me just bring up a few facts. The one of the uh, the fascinating things she lived um, 1343, uh, died 1416, and uh, she has she wrote quite a bit. And actually, her um, her works are the oldest uh, surviving uh, writings by a woman uh, in the English language. And she lived pretty much her whole life in, in Norwich. She was uh, uh, an anchoress. Um, she had a cell uh, off in Norwich Cathedral, so basically a little room that you kind of get sealed into. She lived there a lot of her life. Uh, she wrote about, uh, she had some revelations of the passion of, of Christ and wrote about those things. Uh, she was kind of uh, well known for her spiritual advice, so people would come and seek, seek that out. Um, but what I want to talk about just briefly today is uh, the time in which she lived was not um, not the happiest of times. Uh, born in 1343, um, from 1348 to 1350, uh, the Black Death uh, was ravaging England. Uh, that was followed shortly by the Peasants' Revolt because things weren't good during the Black Death, so she lived through that. Uh, the suppression of the Lollards happened. That was a... Um, sort of early Protestant uh, group, followed John Wycliffe, uh, that had that going on. And then when she was 30, she was uh, she got so sick, they thought she was going to die. And uh, miraculously recovered from that. So her she saw a lot and a lot of things that weren't good. But one of her most famous quotes, and I just want to read that today, uh, she said, All shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. So, you know, just kind of think as we're going through uh, less than uh, pleasant times, remember Julian's words that all shall be well. So that's our saint for today, and uh, I'm going to end with a slightly self-serving prayer, but uh, for those in the armed forces. So let us pray. 
Almighty God, we commend to your gracious care in keeping all the men and women of our armed forces at home and abroad. Defend them day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them in their trials and temptations. Give them courage to face the perils which beset them. And grant them a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, hope all is well, and talk to you soon.